This video is to show you how to do the Rain Rain song um, um, on Fiddle Time Starters on page 25. So um, it's a it uses a very normal nursery rhyme that most of the um, children will be familiar with. So it goes, Rain, rain, go away, please don't rain on Saturday. Now they may have a lot of different versions of that, so um, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Um, whatever version they want to sing is absolutely fine. I've moved my octave my voice down an octave um, just because I find it easier to sing in that range but the children's voices they should be able to sing up there so rain rain go away um, so again we're going to do it with the finger numbers first um, so you to tune that third finger they can just put it straight onto the green spot but I still prefer them to get used to tuning their octave notes so they play their open A find the fairy note above the green sticker and then melt into the string so the thumb slight so the thumb's been really loose here slightly pushes up and the finger slightly um, melts down now um, then you check the tuning of that note against the open D to check they've got a good octave sound okay and so that's our three so we have three and then we take all the fingers off apart from the first finger. One, put the third finger back again. Three, three, one, three, three, one, one, three, three, one. Now I'm doing it with the bow straight away because it's not a very tricky piece. It's only got two fingerings and the bowing's not that tricky. And also to get that third finger nicely in tune, you can't find the harmonic just using the pizzicato. So finding the fairy note, the thumb melts in, the finger melts down to the string. Check that the wrist is nice and relaxed. The thumb isn't squeezing too much. And then we're getting used to putting the first finger down as well as the third finger down. So both fingers should be on the red spot and on the green spot. The, the, the second finger shouldn't be sticking up, sort of up here. It should be nice and curved, um, but it doesn't have to go down on the spot. So we're just using the one and the three, but the first finger should be down. Okay, and then we're gonna go three, one, three, three, And check for the finger just coming off the, the string, not going right up here and losing that hand shape. Um, once they've got used to doing that, um, you can decode the, the music as well. So we're using the um, uh, finger chart that um, I've attached that so you can print out if you don't have this one at home. So you've got A, B, C sharp and D. So the third finger on the A string is a D and the first finger on the A string is a B. So the note names for this one would be D, B, D, D, B, D, D, B, B, D, D, B. Okay, um, you can write that in the correct colours over the um, number notation in the book and then you can have a go at singing it. So... So this piece is helping get the finger hand position really nice and solid um, and settled on the A string. Um, it's also helping them learn the note name notes for the A string. You can also have a go at doing it with a backing track. is rather atmospheric and lovely. Um, if that's too fast for them to um, play along to, then they can sing along um, the note names and the finger numbers using their hand positions like this. And that's also very good for getting their voices up there. If they're struggling to get their voices up there, you can do a few vocal warm-ups of just humming sort of mm -hmm, 
mm, to get their voices warmed up to be able to go up there. I tell them to have their eyebrows up, um, not putting their chins up like this, and hopefully that will help. Okay, have 